Hey, welcome back to Signal Trading Academy. This is the fourth lesson, and we're going to hop into VWAP today. And VWAP is one of the more common things. I'm sure everybody has heard of it. Um, it's a uh, volume weighted average price, and it's something that if you're brand new, it's easy to follow. And it's, you know, it, it will really build your price action uh, skills a bit because it's something that once you get a good feel for, you kind of have an idea of how the market's moving. You know, you get an idea of the price action, like we said in the first, you know, video or two. You know, you get an idea of your market, how it trades, the pulse, and VWAP really is a, uh, a big help with that. So with that being said, uh, let's hop into it. This white line is VWAP here uh, on a one-hour cluster of uh, Bitfinex, or excuse me, Binance Futures, BTC, USDT, $50 ticks. And if you look here, you see that the line is, you know, flat. Whenever the line's flat, you're getting a, a change in slope, right? So that's really all you have to know is what direction is the line sloped? Positive, negative, positively like this, negatively like this, or is it flat, right? And when it's flat, it's usually in balance or about to shift in one direction or another. And, you know, that's where your price action skills are going to start becoming honed. And like here, for example, you saw the slope start to cross over on this print right here. You had two uh, negative bars. But again, on this is no delta because you see there's nothing here. It's not negative or uh, positive. So there's nothing there. And you saw it tried to break down but couldn't. You know, we had every uh, reason to believe if we go down under here, we're probably going under 40K again. Um, and, you know, it never happened. It tried to break down. But then, again, printed here. We got a change in slope. You know, this would have been a good buy. And then you would start to pull into the, uh, the, the VWAP area, the line, right? And if you get above it, which it did here on big volume, you know, we got this little pump right here, created the UFA. You know, we tried to reach and couldn't really get it. Uh, you know, sellers pulled or whatever. And now we come back down, right? We came back down. We got within earshot of NPOC and UFA support, okay? Right here, we're at the lowest ends, the profile low, basically, right? And we held the line again, started to change course now. You see what I'm saying? And a big volume again coming in. We tried uh, to break down, couldn't do it. So, you know, if you were short here, and again, notice divergence, divergence, like these are all tells like, okay, something's wrong here. The slope should, it got pretty negative here. You know what I mean? You you saw the divergence printing, big divergence. People are buying into the into what you're selling them and we can't break NPOC or UFA. Probably a good idea to cover. You know what I mean? Especially because you saw VWAP start to uh, shift back up and we couldn't stay below VWAP. You see what I'm saying? Like they tried, but could not do it like obviously couldn't do it so what does that mean all right well if you're short you know it might be a cut in reverse to uh to to flip long and you know cover your short at the market or whatever you know this is where in the next couple of videos we're going to get over like how to how to start really battling in the trenches and taking advantage of these these violent moves back and forth right so with that being said you know, you probably cover, you try to grab profile lows if you could at NPOC. If not, you know, hopefully you were able to get in here before this crowd. And if not, whatever, you still got in at these LVN clusters, low volume nodes, uh, which is what you want to do. You want to be entering into, you know, LVNs and taking profits into these guys, the HVNs and POC and all that. So, you know, uh, if you were short, you know, you, you wanted to cover into that and flip long, which if you did, you had a nice little, you know, if you're day trading, you know, these are all ticks, like I said, in the first couple of videos, every if you're able to scratch away one or two ticks, you know, that's great. And these are, you know, a bunch of ticks right here, if you were able to catch this three step higher, where it failed, again, we started to get a shift in the slope. But again, couldn't get below it, right? I mean, it, it was trying now it couldn't even get below the local low, uh, which happened to be this area of uh, high volume come in, like a, a lot of people came in and started buying that dip or possibly covering their shorts like we were talking about had a lot to do with that, I'd imagine. And then you you see it can't get through and then it starts to shift again. And now again, you know, we get a little pop higher um, and it's now in real time starting to flatline again. And we're having a, a little bit of, if you notice here, right, 
starting to have a little bit of trouble pulling away from the line. It's trying, but, uh, you know, obviously it's a Sunday. It's not exactly the highest volume uh, activity out there right now. But nonetheless, if we, let's say now theoretically, can bust out above this line, okay, and, uh, you know, bust out above this line and start to try to tackle, now you see that, that cell wall come up in here in the LVM part of the uh, the profile outside of value, you would expect sellers to take profit into there and shorts probably to reestablish. But now let's say it's able to extend, you would expect maybe somewhere up here. If not, if it can't start really turning up VWAP with price, you know, there's a chance that it starts to slowly revert back down and test these lows, which, you know, uh, are defending the lower portion of the the LVN value area if you're able to get outside that would represent deeper value uh at around NPOC and um the areas that we outlined before like the outside value low volume nodes and realistically if, if we were able to get through that right now let's say we're able to get through that um and start you know attacking these areas okay um if we're if we start to see this turn down and price come with it if price turned down with VWAP, uh, you can expect, you know, another test probably of this area right here. And what would happen is, if you notice, there's a lot of buy liquidity in the area. So, like I was saying, if this, um, if this happened where uh, MPOC and UFA were cracked, it's likely that we would have came down lower. As you can see, a lot of uh, volume in this area uh, waiting to buy. So, it would be likely that 40K would uh, be... Put under pressure again to get all this liquidity filled and then as price either stayed below this line let's say it continued to turn down with price uh you can keep that short if you you know if you were dip buying in that area on, on futures for a run back higher and you know price and vwap were pinned lower like kind of like here let's say this stayed lower and cracked through uh, just like this example, let's say that actually happens this time and you were buying here and you're you're on leverage or whatever you're doing uh, you know, with futures uh, and prices still staying under VWAP, not returning higher, uh, your, your trade setup is busted. So that that's essentially what we're trying to get at. It, it's pretty it's a pretty good directional tool. Uh, you know, to you can see where the momentum is clearly. Um, if you notice, like for example, here in this example, right as VWAP printed, we got all of these buyers coming into the market, right, and then it started to really take off. Uh, from that level and you got yourself a few uh a few ticks right there if you were trading or scalping or whatever uh so you know you you want to see if you're if you're looking for confirmation of a move that if it's going to give a clean test on if you're bearish as the the price is starting to slope away if you get a test of this line like right here you know the down sloping line uh and it reacts the way you want off that Okay, that's a good trade. If it does this, the exact opposite, that's a busted trade and vice versa. If the line is sloping up, right, and you want to get that clean test of uh, of an upsloping line, you see how it came through here and couldn't break down? Okay, that's probably the long you want. You try to scalp. Right now, there's no volume, so whatever. If you got out for a few ticks, whatever it was, you know, you, you get the idea of the example. So that's how you would use this. It's pretty simple. Um if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe, please. It helps us out a lot. And if you're curious about the VWAP line on here and why you might not be able to see it on signals, it's because it's a paid service right now. Um, you can go in the links below as well and go to our premium sign up if you want uh, to get access to uh, a bunch of premium perks like special features on signals, uh, the Discord alpha channel, and a whole bunch more. So again, please make sure you like and subscribe. I hope this video is useful. If you have any questions, comments, uh, hit us in the Discord or leave them uh, in the comments below. Thanks a lot. Have a great day, guys. See you next time.